everybody here i am here to present the cost efficiency analysis of uh, ultrasound guided transverse abdominis plane blocks as we all know the major contributor to pain after abdominal surgery is pain from the incision site and peripheral nerve blockade is an alternative to traditional methods of systemic analgesia and central neuraxial blocks transverse abdominis plane block is a peripheral nerve block that anesthetizes the anterior abdominal wall and provides analgesia equal to or superior to that provided by systemic opioids the advantages of tap can be enumerated as decreased post operative opioid consumption and the resultant adverse effects a lower risk of complications and a greater acceptability to patients than epidural analgesia however when we are going in for landmark based blind techniques the concerns are accuracy of needle placement and thus the actual site of deposition of the local anesthetic agent and also the potential for damage to adjacent structures now enumerating the advantages of ultrasound guided regional anesthetic techniques yes we have improved success rates decreased rates of complications but the important question is is this reasoning enough now in this era of skyrocketing medical costs and especially when you are working in a setup as i am which is a non not for profit organization we really need to Uh, discuss whether this is reasoning enough the decision to implement ultrasound should be based on solid evidence of clinical health outcomes and cost effectiveness and evidence has shown that the higher acquisition costs of ultrasound equipment are counterbalanced by the possible savings that are provided by the ultrasound guidance thus we thought of conducting a cost effectiveness analysis of ultrasound guidance for post operative bilateral tap block versus landmark guided epidural block which is the gold standard in elective patients undergoing major gynecologic oncologic surgeries the efficacy outcomes were drawn from a randomized control trial the number of patients recruited were 50 after written informed consent that was taken from these patients randomization was done by a computer generated sequence of random numbers and a sealed envelope technique we excluded patients who were unable or unwilling to consent less than 18 years of age who were already on analgesics who were having either acute or chronic pain with a systemic infection or coagulopathy patients who were unable to comprehend the numeric rating scale patients with a communicative disability dementia a bmi more than 35 and a known allergy or contraindication to any of the study drugs the sample size estimation was based on expected difference in the success rates between the two groups the primary outcome was incremental cost effectiveness ratio that is the difference in mean cost between the two procedures Group E received an epidural catheter preoperatively although the activation was done only after wound closure. Group T received an ultrasound guided bilateral tap block via the classical approach after wound closure. All patients received a standard balanced anesthetic regimen with multimodal analgesia. The data for resource usage and unit costs were collected prospectively for the first 24 post operative hours. only the marginal costs were collected which included the post operative surveillance of patients by the nurse medicines and disposables time for bedside administration of medicines and cost of the ultrasound equipment data were analyzed by the intention to treat principle the continuous variables were analyzed by the t test while chi square test was used for categorical variables non parametric bootstrapping method was used to test the robustness of the data the software used was the stata version 11 the demographic data were comparable in both the groups however the marginal costs were higher in the group e the mean icer can be calculated from the data and as the difference in the mean cost between the two groups divided by the mean difference in the success rate between them which came out to be negative 
which means that ultrasound is a dominant technology that leads to better clinical outcomes and lower costs. The tests of the robustness of this result showed that ultrasound was better and cheaper in approximately 85% of the bootstrap replications. This is probably the first health economic evaluation of ultrasound guided tap block versus landmark guided epidural block for the first 24 hours post operatively. The marginal costs that were evaluated include the time variables. This study quantifies the stochastic uncertainty in the cost effectiveness result by performing a non-parametric bootstrap analysis to build an empirical est estimate of the sampling distribution of the ICR. Yes, we had limitations. We have not included the costs involved in training for the ultrasound-guided tab blocks as compared to the traditionally practiced epidural blocks. And also the multitude of applications that an USC machine can be used for have not been accounted for. Thus, to conclude, USG guided bilateral tab blocks are more cost effective than continuous epidurals in the first 24 hours post operatively in patients undergoing midline laparotomy for gynecologic oncologic surgeries. Thus, in patients who have contraindications to epidural blocks, TAP can be used as a multimodal analgesia plan. These are my references. Thank you. It's a very nice study. Uh, if we have time, I'd like you, you to show me the raw data, how do you define you. the cost. I think that's very interesting. Thank you, sir. And the last speaker for the session is Dr. Sandeep Mutta, who by virtue of being the organizing secretary of this meet, has requested us not to consider him for any...